Hello class, my name is Giovanni Hernandez. Today my listener will be Diana. And also for today's upper social speech, we will also pretend that in front of my audience are members from the Los Angeles Board of Education. We've been hearing the word responsibility all along our lives, yet there are still people who don't understand or practice the principles of being a responsible person. The, pre the best approach for someone to understand and adapt to any responsibility matter is to learn it at an early age. For instance, since little, we've been taught to be responsible with our homework assignments or keeping our rooms clean and organized. But how about responsibilities that will affect you for the rest of your life? For example, responsibilities in personal finance. Isn't this an imperative subject to take into consideration as you're growing up, or even better, you're about to graduate from high school and jump into the real world? Ladies and gentlemen, members from the Board of Education, teachers and staff, today I would like to talk about the new requirement high school students should accomplish upon earning their high school diploma. That is, that all seniors should take a required personal finance class designed by the LA Board of Education. By doing so, it will help reinforce America's economical and financial structure. The first learning outcome students will master is managing personal income properly and effectively. Most seniors have a part-time job and are beginning to make some weekly income. But the question is, do they know how to manage their finances? That is, how much will I spend from my paycheck for expenses and how much would I put into a savings account? The savings account is probably the last account people think of, especially when they are spending more from what they earn. According to George Jenkins, a finance expert and author of an article titled High School Seniors Need Help with Money Management, statistics show that 45% of all high school seniors are unsure or unprepared to manage their finances or own, or own uh, uh, banking personal finance needs. In order to prevent this uh, percentage from rising, we need to act now and come up with a solution. Preparing students today for their, uh, for their role tomorrow is an educator's uh, main goal. In order for seniors to learn how to manage their money properly, the instructor will implement a variety of activities such as creating a personal budget and, and utilizing a personal checking account. A monthly budget plan is the key financial planning task to help students maintain spending limits. My first uh, visual aid that I have here, it's an example of a budget, budget plan provided by Wells Fargo uh, Bank. As you can see, students will practice uh, the basic concepts of completing a budget, and that is by starting to list down other sources of income, following by completing other proper categories, categories such as how much do you pay on rent, utilities, food, auto insurance, education, clothing, entertainment. After that, you then come up with your final formula, which is uh, subtracting your sources of income minus your expenses. If you have a positive cash flow, that means you have uh, remaining money, which will eventually, hopefully, then go to a savings account. If you have a negative cash flow income, you're having problems. In other words, you're spending more than what you're earning. In addition, students will learn how to open a personal checking account and learn how to manage their finances throughout the use of technology. That is managing their money with online banking. Uh, best of all, just like how students check their Facebook 24-7, they will also learn how to log into their mobile banking application and check uh, their balances at their convenience. Uh, most major banks have a minimum age of 16 to open a checking account, and best of all, they don't ask for a California ID. A uh, school ID would work fine, and most checking accounts can be open with a minimum of $25. In addition to the statistics provided by George Jenkins, quote, of the students who had a personal finance class, 75% said they felt prepared to manage their finances. 
Another 66% related themselves highly or very knowledgeable about personal finance, compared to only 30% for high school students who didn't have a financial education course during their high school year. The second learning objective is to have students familiarize with basic financial concepts. For example, students should be able to balance a checkbook and learn how to read uh, or you know, compare uh, credit card statements. Uh, in addition, students will learn how to calculate finance insurance and compare uh, different loan accounts. As students begin to acquire the necessary knowledge uh, to understand how interest or what type of loans to apply, they'll start learning the necessary decision-making uh, techniques to prevent overspending or a popular situation that affects millions of Americans every year, which is something called bankruptcy. Studies by the website of uscourts.gov show a constant increment of bankruptcies increasing since 2005 to today. As you can see on my visual aid number two, I have a graph of the number of Americans. This graph starts from, uh, from 2008 to 2012. The increments constantly going up every fiscal year. For instance, from 08 to 09, it was 1,200,000 number of bankruptcies. And that included all, all chapters. Uh, 7, 11, uh, 13. Uh, following uh, to 2009, 2010, 1,530,000. 2010 to 2011, 1,570,000. And 2011 to 2012, 1,600,000. Here's a better number. Better picture, actually, of bankruptcies filed. In order to prevent the number of bankruptcies and stop hurting our economy, Americans need to learn how to make proper financial decisions. Practicing financial concepts at an early age will help lower the rate of bankruptcies. In addition, people will learn how to plan and live according to what they earn. Identity theft and fraud events uh, could be prevented if Americans are educated properly. And what better way to start than by taking a finance class during the last year of high school? For those who are questioning, well, why high school? Well, keep in mind that not every senior transfers to a community college or university. Unfortunately, some people only make it to high school, therefore we need to assure that upon completing their high school diploma, they will learn financial concepts that will affect them from the rest of their lives. And that is, again, by taking the required personal finance class during their high school year. Thanks to my listener, Diana. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you next week.